Tom Hunter is a photographer whose London roots continue to influence his work to this day. Most widely known for his deep connection with his home neighborhood in Hackney, East London, Hunter found himself among a tight-knit community of squatters with whom he lived with throughout his education. During his time living in abandoned homes and quote-unquote vacant buildings, Hunter developed a familiar relationship with those who he shared the neighborhood with. After attending nightly photography classes at Kingsway College, he graduated in 1994, publishing his series The Ghetto, in opposition to a local newspaper describing his community as quote, a crime-ridden, derelict ghetto, a cancer, a blot on the landscape, unquote. In this series of photographs, he depicts friends of his living their lives among the abandoned buildings that the town was planning on demolishing. In this image, Hunter uses compositional and lighting techniques to convey the humanity that was being fostered by this forgotten ghetto. Soft, diffused light illuminates the group of four while they sit around a table for a meal, while the use of top lighting provides an air of mystery and a sense of foreignness as if there are parts of the story being told that we do not and could never understand. A head-on perspective allows us to connect with the subjects of the photo, framing them as normal people, not much different than you or I. A 3D model of the street that Hunter lived on is now on permanent display at the Museum of London, telling the story of the negative attitudes enforced by news outlets and how the area was almost demolished in favor of industrial centers. Yet the individuals pictured throughout the ghetto series persisted, and now their neighborhood is the center of a lively, hackney environment. This image is one from his award-winning series, Travelers. Notice the use of symmetry in this photo, where two individuals are sitting across from one another and looking directly at the camera, as if they are addressing you, the viewer. This was a common theme among Hunter's earlier works, as the presentation of people living lives similarly to the general public was often just juxtaposed with environments many would consider undesirable or at least taboo. While looking at these photographs, a viewer may feel driven to ask themselves questions about the situations pictured, and what about it makes them feel so different or disconnected from the subjects themselves. As time went on, Hunter began experimenting further with the concept of creating a sense of unease within his viewers in order to make the evaluative nature of his photographs hit harder. Holly Street residents showcase those who lived on the Holly Street estate in Hackney, London from 1997 to 1998, while Holly Street voids documents evicted flats not one year later, just before redevelopment began. The use of negative space here was of course more impactful with the information presented by the previous image, knowing that there was most likely a family sitting in this room months, if not days before this picture was taken, their whereabouts now unknown. Tom Hunter still uses people as subjects in his more modern works, but in a less ethically evaluative way. For example, this photo from his 2018 series, Figures in a Landscape, sets a nude woman in the center of a marsh as a way to visualize the murky transition between mythology, storytelling, anecdotal experiences, and memory itself. The hard side lighting is used to illuminate the figure of the woman, her tan skin popping out against the dark water and green natural background. As a multi-award winning photographer, Tom Hunter's work has been presented in countless galleries throughout his career, with many of his series being displayed in museums across the world, while others were commissioned by museums themselves. I chose Tom Hunter for my presentation because his use of people as the main subject of, of his many works never felt redundant, with each image telling a different story of the people pictured. Some of his images were used to ask the audience questions about the situations we find people in and our attitudes towards them, while other works of his display the beauty of the world and how we as humans play a part in it. The significance of Hunter's work as a photographer cannot go understated, as he has made such an impact on the people he grew up alongside, as well as the general public, by framing their attitudes in a new light. Hunter does not just document the hardcomings of certain individuals. He provides them a platform to display their humanity, in spite of whatever preconceptions that some may have towards their situations. Thank you for watching.